Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be creating this. Uh, uh, this is going to be a Glock 19 um, display stand for your handgun. So we're going to go ahead and use that as a reference. So we'll go ahead and open up Design Spark. We'll go to File, we'll create a new design. We'll go ahead and change this to plan view by clicking this eye icon here or hitting V on the keyboard. And then we're going to minimize up here. We're just going to drag this graphic in. I'm going to use this as a uh, as a reference. Okay, so we know um, I did a quick Google search. This uh, Glock 19 slide is uh, 174 millimeters so we're going to make this 174 so we're accurate so we'll go we'll click there and we'll come over to here well, let's turn off the snaps all right so we're going to go 100 and type in 174 right there hit enter i know that's going to seem kind of large and then we'll go up here to select and then we're going to click on the graphic. We're going to hold down the, uh, what is it, control, shift. Hold down the shift. Now we're just going to size this up so it's size of that uh, line right there, our reference line. A little bit bigger. Okay, this is good enough here. All right, now you can get rid of the line. So what we're going to do, let's pan up, is we're going to go ahead and just create uh, one, one line, and then we're going to offset. So we'll start up here, and then we're going to come down to there, and then we're going to come over to here. And we'll go up to here, and we're going to come over to here. Okay, now we'll just select the click off. Now we're going to go, uh, let's go over here to create rounded corners. And we're going to round these corners. Let's just do it an even amount, 12 there. And then we're going to do this, um, 7. And then we're going to round this 7 here. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and offset this. So let's just drag a marquee around all that stuff that we just created. Uh, come up here to this offset command. And then we're going to drag on the inside. We're going to offset this. I think five millimeters thick would be good. So hit enter. And then we'll select the click off. Let's grab our line tool. We're going to do uh, Endpoint to endpoint there, and then endpoint to endpoint there. Okay, so this is going to be our our stand here, and then we have to add some thickness to this. So I'm thinking I'm going to do it uh, maybe four inches thick. So what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, let's move this out of the way. Let's go to uh, 3D mode. We're going to spin this. Now to convert to inches when you're in millimeter, is just go ahead and uh, click and drag this. I want it to be four inches. So just put four and then do IN, hit enter. Now it's going to go to 101.6 millimeters. So that's about the thickness that I want it to be. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and... Um, put a uh, an opening right here for the uh, I guess that would be uh, um, where our uh, pistol grip is going to go right here so we'll go ahead and um, click on this face here actually let's go get select click there and then go to plan view all right now we're going to go ahead and draw a line right in the middle there and then um, we'll just do 40 here. Okay, well, then I'm going to go ahead and uh,
Let's see here. I'm going to go offset. I'm trying to think of how far I need to offset. Let's just go ahead and uh, go to the offset right here. Offset curve. Thinking um, 20. We'll just do uh, 20 here. Okay, and then we're going to offset this 20, so type in 20. And then what I'm going to do is move this in a little bit. So we're going to go to the move. We're going to click there. And then we're going to drag this in um, 4.4 millimeters. Then we're going to click here and we're going to drag this in. Let's just go 4.4, enter. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, get a line tool there. We'll go from here to here. Endpoint to endpoint. Then we're going to grab our uh, create rounded corners. And we're going to go. Let's just do this at 12, enter. And we'll do this one at 12 to 12. Okay, so this is where your grip's going to go. Right back in here. So we'll go ahead and spin this. Uh, let's go ahead and pull these. Hold down control, go to cut. And then we'll drag this through. Now, um, you could always come in here and adjust this stuff after the fact. If it's not, if it doesn't fit, you can they take measurements of your own of your own handgun and then um, do the same thing. Uh, just do some adjustments. And what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and round the corner here. Let's go to pull. All right, let's round that. Mm, let's do uh, seven. Okay, let's go ahead and spin this. Let's go to pull. Let's click right there. Do seven. And then um, probably round these too, so they're not sharp. Just, just do four. And then round this right here. Type in four. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and spin this. Let's go ahead and click there. Let's do the plan view. Now we'll go ahead and uh, let's draw a line here, midpoint. We're going to put a little notch in there. Maybe uh, 20. Let's just say 20 is going to be good. And then I want to do. Um, Offset here, so we'll go ahead and uh, offset this. Okay, let's just offset it. Uh, let's do uh, 15, enter, and then we'll do this offset 15 here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and put a, uh, a line here at the bottom. Go ahead and go to the uh, crate rounded corner. So we'll do a rounded corner there at the bottom of the uh, barrel. So we'll just do six and six there. All right, let's get rid of that line. I don't need it. Let's go ahead and spin that and then we'll pull. Let's go click on it and go to cut. Make sure that's highlighted and then drag that through. Now let's go to the views, go to the trimetric, and then um, let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Okay, so basically the pistol grip is going to go in here, and then our um, bottom of the uh, barrel is going to go over here. I don't think we need it this, this deep here. We're going to move this up a little bit. So we'll click there. Let's drag it up a little bit, maybe like... Uh, 
2.8 millimeters. Okay, that's good. Let's do control plus and then we'll pan down. And then we're going to go ahead and pull this. Let's do a 1.5 just so it's not a sharp corner. 1.5, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do this an isometric. Just wondering if I want to put a uh, fillet around all of this stuff. Yeah, I think I do I want to put a fillet around all this stuff. So just multiple click here. And then we're going to go ahead and pull this. Um, let's go one millimeter. One millimeter. All right, that's good there. One. Let's type one right there. And get these. Type one. Right, let's go to the uh, back side here and do these. Type in one and do the same right there. One for that one. Okay, let's go ahead and spin this and then do these right here. All right, let's just make sure you got everything. Looks like everything. Gotta fill it there, gotta fill it there, one there. Alright, now if this uh, uh this is just kind of uh going off the uh, Glock 19 and these dimensions aren't exact, so uh, you might want to take some measurements if you are going to print this. Make sure that there's enough space there for your barrel for your at the bottom of your gun to go into. And make sure that this is a enough uh, space here for your uh, pistol grip. And then down here at the bottom, I notice it looks like there's some foam tape. So you might want to put some of that sticky tape that has a uh, foam on it, so your uh, so your gun doesn't slide around. Okay, this is going to end today's tutorial. This is going to be our. Uh, let's go ahead and let's cancel that. Let's go ahead and um, change the view here. Trimetric. Okay, this is going to be our um, our gun stand, uh, semi-automatic pistol gun stand. Um, okay, hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of this video. And as always, thanks for watching.